Hello, I'm Gavin Townsend from GC Personal Training. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to talk to you about the natural peaks and troughs occurring within the personal training industry, especially in the UK at current. Um, the recession's been quite hard. It's took down quite a lot of decent trainers over the last few years, um, mainly due to not strategizing their businesses correctly, not perhaps marketing themselves effectively enough, not looking after their core client base or um, generally retaining their clients. Um, naturally over the 12 month period, come January, the first month where most trainers expect a huge influx of clients to come through the doors, um, it's not really until the third or fourth week of January when people start actively looking for training again after the Christmas period. Why? Because those who generally can afford personal training as a and see it as a luxury um, service, tend to go on holiday or have a break for the first two weeks of Jan. And then those who perhaps are at the, the lesser scale of the wage packet who decide to um, have training won't really have it again until the very end of January when they actually get paid. Um, so that's a salary um, uh, associated dilemma with these people is obviously their salary will dictate when they start looking for um, training again. Now February is quite a good month, so is March. Uh, April time people should be getting ready for the summer months, so advertising uh, within those periods is ideal. Um, come March and April that's when you should have say about 30% of your annual marketing spend um, set out for those two months. Um, June and July, obviously your summer months, your peak months. So if you've already done your marketing prior to that, you should be um, well on your way really for June and July. Uh, August, September, you're coming up to the uh, main wedding season. So aiming your um, targeted marketing towards the wedding industry um, on those several months is, is key. Perhaps starting it at the beginning of the summer months um, if weight loss and the wedding market is your sufficient market. Um, October, November, colder, more difficult months, most people are on holiday at the end part of the September, early October. Um, I always find October and November are fairly quiet, but because we market quite a lot regularly, obviously um, we manage to find ourselves doing quite well. Um, December, most people want to go on uh, ski holidays, obviously it's Christmas, people don't want to tend to train so much in the gym. So home training actually does quite well uh, within November and December. Um, I find these months are, are critical really to get into people's homes as opposed to them going to the gym because within the gym industry most people don't tend to go to the gym at this time, at this time of year um, because with the shorter days and the, the harder uh, hours due to um, due to the weather and conditions, people tend to go home and watch The X Factor or um, chill out in front of the TV and try and avoid the gym. So if you take the excuse away from them, go to their own home, then that would be ideal. So just to repeat, uh, January, not until the end of uh, Jan, February and March, um, you should be fairly on your way if you've marketed yourself well at the, end, at the beginning of the year. Um, April, uh, again, a good month. May, June, July, the summer months typically, so again market yourself for April, May. Um, August, September should be wedding season. And with regards to October, November, have yourself well marketed during uh, the earlier months to get yourself through those months. With perhaps December aiming your market audience towards home training and um, say ski specific holidays. I'm Gavin Townsend from GT Personal Training. Any questions on this topic, drop me an email at gavin at gtpt.co.uk. Thank you.